Hey guys, Silence Yao here. Welcome back to another unboxing video with me. So as you guys know, I'm a gigantic huge weep for Japanese culture and of course the pop culture, anime, otaku stuff, anything like that. So um, let's get down to it because there's quite a bit of stuff that I actually got um, that is within the month of June or rather, you know, just stuff that I've ordered and then they just finally come because, well, it's... It's still a very tough period um, during this pandemic and you know shipping here and there has been delayed because of certain things uh, that's happening in the world. So yes, some of them are finally here. So I'm, I'm no longer doing the monthly pattern of um, naming the unboxing. I probably might change some of the older unboxing videos to be num numerical as well according to this one. I don't know, let's see how things go. Um, but yes, it's no longer by month, although, you know, they kind of are within the same month period. But, you know, let's let's get down to it. We need to m rush along because there's just too much stuff. So, first of all, you guys know I'm a big Macross fan, as you can hear from the plastic sounds. Um, it's, it's a plush that a lot of the ladies in the Macross franchise would probably want. And it's a very rare plush to obtain. Um, if you guys are following me on my YouTube Facebook page, you probably know all the fashionable Macross things that I have ever posted before. Um, even in, in back in Macross Space Time, the culture, the group that I used to run. So this is the Basara plush from, well, the fashionable Macross guys site. Um, this was introduced back then when it was in the fashionable Macross guys site part one. Um, they did remake the plush and eventually it got sold in um, Guy's Side 2. Then of course, the, since there were some leftovers, they pushed it on to Wow Grey's fashionable Macross as well. So yes, Basara's plushie, I finally have it. So I have to thank my brother Scott who actually helped me obtain this. Um, he happened to fly back to Japan during the pandemic period and he got stuck there. <laughs> so, uh, it's a very interesting story. So, I, I don't have the time to tell it. Anyway, let's move along. So, you guys know I'm a big huge fan of Eurocap and finally one of the new um, Nendroids have finally been released. And this is for Chiaki. Um, you know the one of the girls from the camping club and i'm i ordered this from good smile itself because they do come with the special bonus um for the figure and yes i have already shown you guys all my other eurocram um nendroids um that were second hand and they all came with the special bonus so i had to get well the next girl with the special bonus um there is one last character that is coming out soon um, and she is also coming with the special bonus so I'll show you guys that when she finally um, officially releases and I don't know whenever she arrives in to my home because well this took forever to come this almost took a month to reach me so it's just really affected by um, the, the COVID situation so alright let's move along um, along with more Macross things, um, this is rather old by now. Although, yeah, it's, it's, it's a month late to show you guys, but you know, it's the uh, Seiyu Animedia magazine that comes with the photo and um, the poster. I probably show the photo and poster, you know, in this video uh, while I'm still talking. So yes, hey, if you guys want to get yourself a copy of this you probably might not be able to find one anymore because magazines such like this with you know front covers by popular artists they run out um, very fast and if you probably want to get yourself a copy of this um, now at this point of time you probably have to go through scalpers and probably bid for them at very ridiculous prices i missed my chance of pre-ordering although i had the chance to order it regularly on time so this was actually gotten through um well bidding uh, on yahoo auctions and i managed to get a copy of this with the special bromide um that you guys saw um and the poster still intact so i was pretty lucky i did somehow um manage to get an extra copy of the magazine um but I gave it to another Macross brother of mine who lives in Singapore right now working uh, 
uh, because he, for he, he didn't order a copy for himself so I decided to give him that copy um, so yeah since this one comes with the bromide the one the one he actually helped me purchase did not come with the bromide so all he has is the magazine and the poster that comes with the magazine which I think it's still good enough because the bromide is actually just a retail store exclusive in Japan um, which has an image of the ladies um, that you probably can find on the internet <laughs> somewhere but anyways uh, let's move along okay um, the next item it's another Eurocam stuff so uh, a lot of Eurocam stuff actually so they're all clothing material so I probably might show the shirts off um, in some kind of a collage video uh, while I'm talking in between but if you guys remember I don't know, I don't know how many unboxing videos ago uh, I did mention that um, uh, <laughs> Rin had a knitted cap that I ordered and the cap finally arrived months <laughs> later so yes this is the cap that you can get for you know wearing during the winter periods it's which I will never experience because I'm in Singapore it's a summer <laughs> always country so uh, I don't know why I got this I, I just had to get it because I got this the, the, the scarf um, and I had to get the, the knitted cap as well just to complete the whole look of Rin <laughs> all right so then the rest of the other stuff are all t-shirts so pretty pretty nice design features uh, I, I, I can't show you the designs but there's a whole bunch of them you know there's five different shirts so I went crazy with Euro camp um, two months back and the merch are all finally coming and I'm still very excited for season two that's coming out um, in 2021 so very excited a lot of a lot of wonderful series are coming out in 2021 so Euro camp 2 is one of them um, then of course there is uh, other stuff that you know I'm interested in but I don't know whether you guys are interested in it as well you can always let me know because I do share my interest on what's to come on my YouTube Facebook page um, links in the description if you want to follow me there for all the weep stuff as well uh, aside from Macross <laughs> so yeah all right so let me dump the shirts on the floor let's move on to the next one you guys know I am a Doremi fan so yes the next girl in line is finally here I didn't know this one had bonuses um, in fact the whole the whole collection of the girls from uh, Ojamajo Doremi actually all came with bonuses uh, at that point of time I wasn't ordering stuff from Good Smile online shop because it's just it's just ridiculously expensive I wouldn't go all the way out just to get bonuses you know for the Nandroids um, yeah it's just not worthwhile because the item itself is more expensive than certain online retailers in Japan and of course their shipping charges are a lot more expensive plus you have to pay a bit more because of the bonuses so yeah I, I did it for Eurocamp because I really really love Eurocamp a lot um, for Ojamajo, however, sadly to say, I wasn't aware of it. Um, then, yeah, I just got the regular figures for all the Nimdroid girls. So, yeah, I think I think we are just about done with the collection. I think there's only one more girl as well for uh, Ojamajo series. So, looking forward to that in the future. Let me just put this here. Okay, so, um, along with Eurocam stuff, let me just... I think this is the last of the the, the batch that is all Euro Camp. So I got stickers. So these are pretty old. These are stickers. I didn't expect them to be so huge. I was thinking like they were gonna be tiny ones that I can actually paste on top of my laptop. But these are huge. So I might not paste them anywhere. Maybe I just might, you know, put scotch tape at the back and stick them to the wall somewhere to, <laughs> to act like a poster <laughs> but yeah these are huge these are like surprisingly 500 yen per piece so that it's like almost six seven singapore dollars or maybe even five usd if you want to count it like that so yeah they're pretty nice i especially love this one because this is hilarious this is where they 
they do that funny dance in the anime series. Then of course we have the Blu-ray for Heia Camp. Um, so yeah, Heia Camp is actually a short clip series. Um, therefore, there's only one Blu-ray disc. Um, so this is pretty fantastic. Um, loving the manga artwork. I actually really like the manga artwork a lot. I I'm surprised that they didn't keep this style for the anime, but it's okay, I guess. Um, I guess it wouldn't look as nice with the background illustrations for all the camp areas that they featured in the show. And of course, ha having ordered the Blu-ray, um, it comes with a bonus item. Um, this one's from Ami Ami, however, so um, Ami Ami had its own exclusive bonus. And this one is actually an acrylic plate. So I'm gonna cut this up to just show you guys very quickly um, what it will look like. <clears throat> so here we go. The acrylic plate that comes with the Heia Camp Blu-ray. Alright, so yep, it's an acrylic plate with Nadeshiko and the two other girls um, from the camping club in their school. So it comes with the tags that you can actually screw in at the back so you can have it placed somewhere so it is pretty nice um, at least it's a pretty thick acrylic so totally worth the pre-order for the blu-ray on Ami Ami fantastic fantastic stuff so all right let's move along okay so in the last unboxing video I did introduce you guys to this manga series um, I, I, I wonder how many of you guys actually go ahead and um, research on it to read. Um, so here are the next volumes. So I've got volume 5. So volume 5. Uh, volume 6. There you go. So very lovely illustrations as well. Oh, I really, really love this one. This one looks very pretty. So this is volume 7. So I have ordered in um, the, another, the next 4 volumes for the, the series, um, yes, like I mentioned in the last video, I, I said that I wasn't sure what was the latest volume for this manga series. Um, volume 14 is the latest one. Um, so yeah, so this is up to volume 7. So I have 8, 9, 10 and 11 coming. Um, you probably can see that in the next unboxing video next month. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys go went to go and read this manga series. What are your thoughts on it? If you want me to do a manga review for this one, let me know. I might do a man first ever manga review for uh, my channel, uh, which I've been planning to do because, in fact, I've been planning to do like anime reviews, um, manga reviews, that kind of stuff. Um, I, I did do written reviews for anime on my YouTube Facebook page. Um, I kind of slowed down on it uh, completely from for this season's anime because I wasn't in a mood for watching anime this this season uh, although there were some shows that I kind of wanted to watch because well um, you know um, my cross seiyus were singing opening and ending songs for certain series some of them were voicing certain characters as well so I really wanted to watch those as well but I just just couldn't find the enthusiasm to go and watch those uh, eventually I might get down to it but you know uh, all right so what have I been doing if I wasn't watching the latest stuff well I've been diving into nostalgia the entire season so <laughs> I've been re-watching shows from my days of a young otaku and um, let me just say it has been a real nostalgia trip so I'm going to show a lot of very old stuff from a very old anime um, that is probably getting some kind of new content from one of their actors um, but it's not from the same series but you know okay so some of you guys who are closer friends with me probably know that I've um, gone into super nostalgia trip with a particular shoujo manga series and that series is uh wait let me find a proper cover to introduce again i guess it's uh where is it uh wow okay 
it's here but yeah it's Nodame Kantaberu <laughs> so if you guys don't know this anime series this is your old school version of uh, your lie in April anything musical in fact so anything that do with classical music Nodame Kantabel was the first of its yeah, not exactly the first of its kind but the one that really stood out back then in the um, 1990s to 2000 era of anime and TV drama <laughs> so Nodame Kantabel was so popular um, as an anime series not so much of a manga um, in fact yeah so I wanted to do a review on the whole Nodame thing and the, no, I wanted to do a nostalgia review section on my channel as well so yeah Nodame Kantabel um, I went back to it I, I bought an auction version of the whole complete manga set um, so yeah, it's all in bits and pieces and you can tell that the manga is very old because of the colouring of the paper as well. Some of them have really turned yellow. Um, not sure whether you can see it but you know, I got it cheap. This entire 25 volume set manga <laughs> at only 2,500 yen. It was a steal. So I had to order it and yeah, I finally am able to own a full complete collection of Nodame Kantebel. I'm gonna have to put this aside. It is really bulky and it's in the way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so let me just dump this in the box and let's move on because it is not over for Nodame. In fact, I went to get the DVD collection for the TV series. So this is the DVD collection. Although there was an anniversary blu-ray collection i didn't know about it but i had to get the dvd one because it is a limited edition you know cover so you can tell by moving the cover you know nodame would be like doing her classical um you know puckered up lips while playing the piano i have not opened this up yet so there are other covers you know for for the rest of the blue the, the dvd the blu-ray box set however does not have um, special series release or rather you know like a limited edition print of the covers um, only the DVD version has it I might pick up the blu-ray in the future I don't know um, I, I think I'm pretty satisfied with the DVD collection because this was the um, I would say the quality ratio that the series was shown back then Nodame was um, at you know back in the days where the the screens on the TVs were not widescreen and they were all squarish <laughs> so yes this is how old the anime is and um, I've yet to even gone to buy the DVD or blu-ray uh, versions of the TV drama series I really really highly recommend you to guide uh, you guys to catch up on Nodame through the drama series it is way better than the tv anime and of course the manga so the manga's art style is definitely uh, not as refined as the tv anime uh, the the anime series definitely refined the artwork towards the manga cast style of nodame cantabelle um, and the live action series actually made the whole series more fun more lively and more you know um, you can pay attention to the screen a lot longer <laughs> and won't doze off you know it is classical music uh you know not everyone appreciates classical music so uh if classical music isn't your thing and you're just watching for the wacky characters that nodame Kantebel has um definitely definitely give this series a legendary classic series a try um, there are other classical music series like uh, piano in the forest piano no mori um, and you know your lie in april you know all the modern stuff that you know has classical music in that series itself so yes um then you know with nodame going on in my mind for the past season which is basically about three months um 
you know, I had to get the other stuff. In fact, there is more stuff that's coming, so this is gonna overflow into next month's unboxing as well. So this is one of the, um, I think it was the opening song for season two. So apparently, you know, it's secondhand as well. So the the, the casing for the CD single is gone. So they just came like this, which is fine. Uh, as long as I can have my music, <laughs> it's okay. Um, so this is just the regular edition. I I, re I recall seeing a like a limited print as well, but you know, it's an old um, single. The bonuses are long gone, um, and I think back then they didn't really release like music videos with the uh, limited run. Usually, it comes with like extra bonus songs from the artist itself so i didn't see a need to go for it so yeah um i do have um the opening and ending songs for season three of norame coming um next month as well so i probably might show that off and yeah and this thing this thing is really important because <laughs> it is actually the mascot for norame um I'm sure you guys probably are familiar with it if you guys are Nodame Cantabell fans. Um, it is the Ma Mongoose, <laughs> the Mongoose character that she will wear um, when performing. So, very, very adorable Mongoose character. So, it's a keychain. Um, so, yeah. So, there are, <laughs> there are other various versions of this Mongoose as well. Um, but I don't think they, they show it off. Yeah, they don't show it off inside the card. So, um, where the mongoose is actually holding the piano bag that Nodame carries, and if not, it's the, I don't know what you call it, that piano flute instrument. I have no idea the names of the instruments. I am totally lost. I, I like, I can appreciate classic uh, classical music, but I, when it comes to classical, instruments um i have no idea on the names um so yeah anyways so i i do have a nodame's piano bag coming in as well so i'm gonna hang this mongoose on it so it's just my nodame cantabell shrine that i can finally own after so many years you know I, when when this tv series was released back then i was still a very poor student I couldn't afford to buy all this and now that the show is so old and people are trying to get rid of their collection back then everything is so cheap like this thing i got it at 100 yen <laughs> it's so cheap the cd itself is also 100 yen so why why am i not holding back it's because it's, everything is so cheap um, especially for old anime series that you know has a place in your heart for eternity well at least for me that is, because I, I always hang on to things very dearly. I don't let things go um, that easily. So yeah, okay, aside from Nodame stuff, um, I think that's all of it. So I have something a bit more modern. So I have the Tanki no Ko Blu-ray Limited Edition <laughs> set. So it comes with the script book. Um, the entire script for the movie and of course there is like illustrations and you know memos from the creator Makoto Shinkai and it comes with a very interesting fold out blu-ray case so um yeah just watch the <laughs> um you know unboxing video that I've compiled just for this unboxing so unboxing section I don't know <laughs> so here we go um, aside from Tenki no Ko, I am going to show you guys the last thing in my unboxing stuff is Yes, like I promised in my last video I finally am able to show you the Cheryl Gnome Q Posuke figures um, Yeah, so apparently there is a third one But that one is not attainable through normal UFO catcher play that one, however, is uh, like a competition that you have to submit in and then you stand a chance to win that alternate colour. Let's see if I can find the, uh, the image of the alternate colour and show you guys on this video. If not, these are the official two colours that you can 
officially get from UFO Catcher product, you know, machines in Japan. Um, so yeah, so I finally have this to show you. They are not mine though, so whoever is going to own these, you know who you are, you can guess who you are. Um, yeah, so <laughs> look forward to receiving this uh, in the future when I send it out to you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so anyway guys, that's it for this unboxing video. Uh, not bad, I did not break past the 30 minute mark, so that's that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, um, so let me know some, uh, let me know your thoughts about all the merchandise and stuff that I've shown you guys. Um, what do you guys think about the idea of you know anime reviews, nostalgia reviews, uh, movie reviews, you know, uh, oh yeah, so like I forgot to mention, the the actor for um, Chiaki in Norame Kantebel for you know the TV drama, he finally got a new role, and I'm very excited for it because it's another manga series that I've been following for a very long time, and it's finally getting its TV release in October this year. So yes, it is this manga, <laughs> and this is how he looks like now. Back then, when he was uh, acting as Chiaki, he was a lot less well wrinkly maybe he still looks very good just you know having that old man lines down the, the face and the cheek areas you know it's just normal when you're growing old but yeah i'm very excited for it uh, let me know in the comments down below as well if you guys are excited for it i did mention it on my youtube facebook page um so yeah and um, leave a like to this video if you enjoyed all the merchandise that I've showed off and subscribe for more unboxings like this in the future and I'll see you guys soon <laughs> until then bye